All right, welcome to another video by Lame Creations Log Analysis Made Easy. This tutorial is basically just to help individuals who are following along at home doing the different my different YouTube videos. We wanted to make sure that the data is available to you and we wanted to give you data that you could use that would be allow allow you to basically imitate the same results that we're doing in the videos. And so I have three different methods you can get data into your system, even if you're not ingesting logs. And my recommendation is this BOTS V3 data set. This is by far and away the best way. If you've watched videos and some of them are like a year or two old, I, didn't, I wasn't using BOTS 3. I was using something down here with the event gen. But I have come across this BOTS V3 data set. This is my recommendation. It's when you use this app, it will make sure your data is exactly like mine. And so if your data doesn't match mine, we know that there's something wrong. Whereas event gen, that's kind of a replay, random. Your data will be similar, but won't exactly match. It's also a little more difficult to run, and it's not nearly as support as it used to be. I don't know. I don't work for Splunk. I don't have a magic ball. It just seems that over the years, they've gotten further and further away from using event gen. Back in the day, you used to be able to go to any Splunk TA and you could find a sample data set and you could then replay it. That hardly exists anymore. So I'm kind of, I've kind of gone away from it. It's also been a little trickier. It, it tends to be a little more difficult for people to uh, make work. The other option I have is custom scripts. I, that is definitely well above the scope of most people who are coming to my videos. So I, do, I will put a link down when I actually have custom scripts to show. I do, have a, I do have a Python and PowerShell that do custom scripting and generate me data. And you can get that from my GitHub site. But it is definitely beyond the scope of this. So I recommend the Bots V3. If you're feeling adventurous and you want to try event gen, go ahead. But the going forward, and this will be the first of a playlist where I'll be starting to teach SPL with given examples. Those samples will, examples will be coming from the BOTS3 data. So we're just going to move forward just using BOTS3 V3. So let's show where you get that data from. Come in here and I'm going to go to get, I'm going to go to Google. If I click that, I can see Splunk Boss the Sock version 3 data set. I'm just going to come in here. We come in here, don't hit this, download zip, come to the bots v3 data set and click this. Okay, now that I have that, I got my IP address. I'm gonna open a terminal or PowerShell. Okay, and then I'm going to go SCP. Bots 3 V3 data set to. There we go. Now copying over, we'll SSH into the box. We look at this, we're going to tar sudo tar minus XVF. Name the file bot, bots v3 to opt. We can get this to go away and remember to put minus C in there. All right, I don't like it when it does that. Minus C op splunk. There we go. Etsy apps. If we tar that. We're going to need to make sure it's sudo tar. And 
So we're going to go sudo su etsy system etsy apps and then we will just chone minus r bots v3 remember to give it to splunk splunk bots v3 data set ignore this bots v3 master do the bots v3 data set shown that you look at the permissions everything in this directory is owned by splunk okay let's bounce the server and when we run that query we get the data we had to reset it because it needed to make all the config files up to date now you still need to follow the guidance whatever data you want to run go grab the data source and it'll tell you the TAs to use. So if you want to work with Splunk Enterprise, well, there's, if you want to work with the common information model, the TA for Linux, Tenable, whatever the case may be, you may need to download the actual uh, TA. There's the link, put it in your instance and, you, and it'll parse the data correctly. So that is for bots v3. We go to GitHub, dot com we can see a bunch of repos let's go event gen and i've got a lame event gen you can just download this download the zip Open that, we can see that inside is stuff we need. So let's just go ahead and install that file. Apps, manage apps. Install app from file. Upload. Restart later because we need to add one more app. You must have the event gen app. So we're gonna go grab that app, event gen. Install that app, if you don't have this, it's not gonna work. Okay, we're going to just come into the back here and we're going to restart. The way I can track it. All right, it's reset. First thing I want you to notice is if I come to my indexes, there's a lame training app. Main. Bots v3. Let's see. We're going to do we're going to come in settings data inputs event gen we'll click that and we're going to enable so we need to make sure that we add if i come in here i can see that this writes to a lame event gen index I don't have that, so let's go put that in. We go settings, indexes, new index, lame, event gen, spell it exactly right, and we make this one gig save. Okay, now I have. We're gonna notice I'm my lame event gen is failing because there's no lame event gen, but we're in the right path. Everything's working now. Oops, settings, data inputs, which I guess we could just come over here. Event gen, we're going to come over. Now I can just disable and re-enable. That'll resend my event gen. Come in and search. 
index equals lame event gen. And there's data. So I have demoed how to download the bots v3. You just Google it for at GitHub bots v3, download the data set on the command line, go in and un get it over there, whether it be through SCP or file copy, untire the file right into the Etsy apps directory, and then restart Splunk and you're good to go. Event gen download from the lame creations GitHub. Download the lame event gen app. Lame event gen. There's the link. Code download. Download it. Install it. Make sure you have the lame event gen index and install the TA for event gen. Go to the settings, data input, event gen, enable. Data should start rolling in. Hope this helps. Hope this helps you provide data. Again, if you're going to be following the tutorials uh, that we're going to continue rolling out, we are going to do this all using the bots v3 data set. So I hope you follow along with us and you find the, the following videos in this playlist to be of value.